it's been a trip. Um, but I'm at queer now, which I think I probably will be forever just because I feel like that encapsulates everything that I want to convey about my sexual identity. I dropped out of college after my freshman year because I hate school. I'm a lesbian, for sure. Like, no, not really swaying. My first realization that I wasn't straight, I was like sitting in the bathroom because <laughs> it was past 10, which was my computer curfew. So I wanted my dad, like if he like came in to surprise me to see if I was following the rules, I'd like be like, oh, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> so I was in the bathroom <laughs> talking to my friend on instant messaging. Um, and I was like, Aiden, I have to tell you something. And she was like, what? And I was like, I think that Demi Lovato is attractive. That was like a big deal because I was like in eighth grade and my parents were very conservative and I like wrote about it on my blog and my dad found it and I was embarrassed and I was like, it's a phase even though it wasn't because look at me now. When I was like, like five or six or something, I was in my room and I was like thinking about her and I was like, do I like her or do I like like her? And ever since then, I've been the gayest. I came out to everyone. I texted my dad and then my dad forwarded the text message to everyone in my family. My dad was like, duh, because he's been telling me I was gay since I was very young. My grandma was also like, yeah, I know. And then she told my grandpa right before he died and he also was like, yeah, I know. So basically, I feel like it was pretty expected. I am going through a weird heterosexual phase of my queerness. I turned 21 recently. And, you know, I'm going to get drunk on my 21st birthday. Like, Netflix it chill because I was like, can we, like, put on Master of None or something? So we were watching Master of None. And then, yeah, I had sex with somebody with a penis, which was a really interesting and strange experience. I don't know if I'd do it again for a while. Now I'm just, like, kind of on a boy kick. It's weird. It's very weird. Tracy is my best friend in the whole entire world. I have never met anybody who, like, is so similar to me. We both want to smoke a cigarette at the same time or, like, do the same thing at the same time. I never thought that I would be able to live with a person and spend so much time with someone and share a bed with someone and not get annoyed with them. And people, like, notice our friendship a lot, I think, and they think it's special, because it is. Well, I went to an all-girls Catholic high school, and there was this new religion teacher and he was a boy. Of course, everybody was like, Mr. Apo is like number one. Everybody was in love with him. But especially me. My best friend Vicky bought me the exact same journal that Mr. Apo has. And I was like, are you heckin' kidding me? So my re New Year's resolution was to like write in my journal more and like actually like stick with it. And then I like did for a while. And my first journal took me two years to finish because like it like comes in waves, my motivation of writing. I don't know, I'm like really excited to like be an older person and like get to look back on like ages like 18 through hopefully forever. Andrew doesn't have a gender is the thing because he's a dog. Um, also, that's something I want to talk about while there's a microphone in front of me. Ginger is not a girl's name. No, Ginger's gay too. He has a leather fetish. So I think he's queer. I think he got that from Gracie. Who introduces their sexuality as saying you're gay as hick and hick? But that's just a new thing that I've picked up in my vocabulary. started from workaholics because they say schmack a bear <laughs> instead of like smoke a bowl <laughs> and then I'd be like hick and then I went to hick and hick. I'm from Texas. I was born in Tucson and um, like raised in Texas and then raised more in Phoenix and now I live here in Flagstaff. Like my major is women and gender studies so basically all I think about and talk about is like gender and sexuality. 
and women. So it's like a good time, yeah. Well, the weed jar is a thing that happened so that I can put money aside for weed because I love weed and I want to always have money for weed. My dad is like a very heavy stoner and like the first time I smoked I was 13. I like have always smoked weed. Um, for a very long time until actually very recently I thought I had like straight passing privilege. Like, I thought that I came off of, as straight to a lot of people. And then Sam told me that that was not true. And that I come off as a queer person. Which makes me extremely happy because I don't want people to then see me. Then I, like, ignored it, like, like, for most of high school. Mm, except for, like, not a heterosexual here, person. Woman, Erica Trejo. Just because and I was so like, infatuated with her. I don't even know why. She was, like, a senior the on the board. Identities, identities to me. Now I'm here. I'm passionate about queer in my at NAU. <laughs> and my queer identity. So, he's here on my 21st birthday. And then as we, like, end the night, we, like, all decide to walk Chris home. And then, you know, things just escalated in a weird, so I associate very the word strange, with, like, unexpected more way. Of, like, a sexual um, And it ended up with him like, being like, hey, do you want to, like, like stay the night? Beautiful. And I was like, uh, maybe. And I explained how it was weird because I, like, I've never had sex with somebody who has a penis. But I also, like, kind of had a crush on him, so I, like, wanted to. Um, and so and then he, like, kissed the me. the color. Like, I feel like that best suits me. Um, I feel like if somebody were to be like, what color are you? And I would be like, I'm green. Um, I have green eyes, green hair. My favorite color is green. I wish everything was green all the time. I just love green. And it's like very calm. It's like very me, I think. I think I'm a pretty green person. Also, weed. <laughs> Words that I think describe me are feminist, redhead, smoker, nice, chill, TV enthusiast, an optimist. I would like to talk about being a redhead just because I think that's an identity that is like that's, like, super important to me that I don't know if, like, other people really understand except for those close to me. Like, I'm sure Sam knows how important being a redhead is to me. But seriously, it's, like, something that I'm always thinking about. If I did not have red hair, I think I would be a very, very different person. and Sarah are like they're both they're twin sisters and they're both lesbians and so they're like stereotypically like lesbian music like if you meet a lesbian and you're like hey do you like Tegan and Sarah it's a good like probability they will say yes
So now I'm on journal number three. And it's like awesome because I it, like I use it kind of for everything. I like will take notes in it and I like draw pictures and I like write down like little thoughts that I have. And I like I like travel a lot and I go on a lot of trips. And so I always like bullet point like everything that I could remember, like when I'm on the plane flying home so that I can like remember like everything. And I just like I'm. that I can like remember my youth I guess for my future self she was waiting with me for the train and then she just kissed me before like when the train arrived before I got on the train Fran talked to Gracie at my going away party before I moved to Flagstaff and like told her that she like loved me or something I don't know something like that um and just recently she came up and visited and we totally did it and it was awesome and um now we're like basically in a relationship but it's not labeled and it's like very casual and she treats me really well and she's really pretty oh my gosh and also very hot different things you know